Okay, number three. Asking us why is tangent zero equals zero? So why is tangent to zero? So why is tangent equal zero equals zero? So um, there's actually a lot of ways to solve for this problem here. And actually um, here, uh, the solution that's given to us here um, is a great way to solve this. So they're basically using a unit circle for us to figure out what, um, what, uh, what the value is. And they, you're, they're using a uh, quotient identity here. So we, know that, so we know that here tangent, I'll say x here, equals sine x over cos x, right? It's a very, very well-known trig identity here. And if we're seeing, um, and I have tangent of zero, so tangent of zero, if x here equals zero, then isn't it sine zero over cos zero here? Which is simply, I know sine zero equals zero and cos zero equals one, right? Therefore, zero divided by one here is zero. So there's, this is one way of figuring out using a, an identity to figure out uh, y tangent zero equals zero. You can also graph this function. And tangent x is actually a, uh, kind of an odd graph to, to, uh, to graph here, but you get something like this. Um, um, and then there's an asymptote here, and then it kind of restarts like that. So let me, uh, let, let, me, um, let, me, let me just graph out tangent x here tangent x here. So it's, it looks something like this. It's, a, it's kind of like a little wavy kind of function like I drew here. Um, the first point obviously is zero, zero. And then what we have here, is, so it's at zero. And then it, there's an asymptote as it reaches uh, pi over two. And then it goes back at zero at pi. So this here is at zero. This here would be a pi. And this asymptote here is pi over two. And this here is two pi. So uh, that's gonna be my tangent function, uh, like a given at Desmos here. And this here, if I know what y is tangent zero, well, at zero here, the point here is zero. So graphically, you could basically say tangent zero equals zero as well, or we can actually use this unit circle. So there's basically three ways to prove this, right? So there's proving this using an identity. This here is through graphing. And obviously we can also use a unit circle for us to figure this out. And as you can see, they did a unit circle here. They have some type of triangle. So let me draw this out for you because it kind of looks, it kind of looks blurry. It might look blurry on uh, your screen here. So I have some type of circle here. And then I have some type of, uh, there's a line here. I don't want that. Sure. And then this here would be again, uh, this here is an ang this here's angle theta, you can say. And then this here would be tangent of theta here. And as the angle here, as the angle here becomes zero, tangent also becomes zero, right? So if I'm looking at this blue guy here, this here is my angle, as I'm approaching zero degrees, right? This here is zero or 360 degrees here, right? If I'm approaching zero, what is the value of tangent? Well, the value of tangent, this guy here, or let me do this in red, this guy here is also going to become zero, right? <coughs> Sorry, um, this here will also become zero. So you can think of this as, um, in two ways here, you can think of this as a, as a, uh, as using a unit circle, or actually, there's actually three ways to think about this problem: either using a unit circle, or a, um, or a, an identity, or you can use a unit uh, a graph to figure out a y tangent of zero equals zero here. So there's, there's a lot of ways for us to support this guy as well. So again, repeating here, this unit circle, as I minimize this angle here, as it approaches uh, zero degrees, this line here my y value is also going to di uh, diminish to zero here. So again, this solution is correct. You know, we, and we actually used three different ways to prove that tangent zero, tangent zero equals zero here. So this solution here is correct. Analysis. I believe that was a question.